Hey, how's it going, team? I hope everything is going well. And if it's not, I hope they are certainly trending in the direction of going well. And uh, yeah, thoughts and prayers to you. And I don't mean that in a meaningless way. I really do do my bows and prayers for everyone on this channel. I mean, for those people I know and for those people who I don't know and everyone else in the world. And so uh, when I say thoughts and prayers, and, and I mean that, yeah. Will they have any effect? Who knows, right? Who knows? It could be absolutely nothing. It really, really could be. But um, at least I tried, yeah. Because, I mean, what else can I do, right? Other than put these videos up and say what's up to you. And uh, in hopes that it maybe, I don't know, butterfly effect influences something, you know? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, but yeah, salutations and good vibes to everyone out there in TV land. In front of us is Mr. Optimus. And, uh, oh, by the way, this is, uh, thank you so much for joining me. Um, this is going to be one of the long-form tutorials, meaning it's not just the tutorial. It's uh, me just kind of talking as well. So, you know, feel free to stick around, have fun, hear me yammer, yammer. Um, but yeah, the short form videos, uh, the short form tutorials, all of that will be in another format. Um, you can find it in the playlists, but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get to this. Wow. Wow. Isn't he nice? Isn't he nice? Siege Optimus Prime and one cog. And finally, finally, finally in a configuration that I am proud and happy of. Uh, I take back the proud part. Um, I've been proud of other builds. Um, I wasn't hundred percent happy with them. Um, and in terms of the, this is probably my second, just one-on-one, -on -one, meaning like one Optimus, one cog. There's another one that was, uh, eh, and there's some that I've done in the past that required two cogs. But when I see stuff like this, this is just testament to me about my own building journey. You know, I, I wasn't able to build this thing several months ago, uh, m not even a year ago. And so, um, one second, dude, I keep drinking water, but I got like super parched mouth, um, Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is just testament to me, and I'm real happy when I see this guy, and I'm like, wow, this is a tale of my journey, you know, and um, he's nice, dude, he's really, really, really nice, and he's very simple to make. Those are some of my favorite qualities about a build. Uh, one, you don't need a lot of parts to make them. Um, two, they look great, and um, three... Um, and a lot about is accessibility. Like it's not hard to make. It requires a few parts and it's, and it's, um, parts that many people ha have at home so that you too can make it. You know, I really, really enjoy when, when, when things can check those boxes. And, um, this is one of those. And plus it's Optimus Prime, you know? And, uh, again, like I love the color pairing red, blue, and silver. Who else, right? Who else perfectly fitted for that? And then we have black. Look at that. Look at that dude. And then you got all the tires rolling everything flush like oh man over the moon baby over the moon on this one and uh we can see how he'll look like um once you take some of the accessories off i put these on at the end because i honestly i forgot about them and so he was like this for a while and this looks phenomenal too this is real nice you can see in his core native state with just one cog uh, without the accessories, this is real nice. Seriously, this is real, real, real nice. Um, I'm thinking of doing this with Nemesis and Red Cog. That'll look cool. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, will yeah, this will work with um, any Optimus figure that has a hitch. You know, the center hitch where you plug in a trailer. Any Optimus that has that, this should be able to work. Um, and there's just such. So, there are so, so, so there are such cool things going on over here with the engineering and um, yeah yeah without further abobo so it's just one piece yeah and so you prepare prime by just putting him in his alt mode uh, having the hitch revealed right there the hitch the connector and then just um, folding these feet folding the feet up I don't know if you actually need to fold the feet up but I had it up. Oh, you know why? It's because I had blast effects on earlier, but so I guess you don't need those up. All right. Oh my gosh. And how easy it is to make this. So um, this is just the torso of COG, right? Uh, you're going to need to spin the head and slightly bend this back, and that's only to hide it. The waist, normally it would be like this. So you're going to twist it 90 degrees, and then you're just going to have... Um, one of the one of the hip pegs facing forward and one facing down. Easy to see, right? Over here, you're gonna have um, you're gonna swap the arms, the left to the right and the right to the left. Hold on, let me get the spacing right. 
And, uh, I mean, technically, I guess he didn't need to do that. Oh, you do, you do, you do. No, wait, hold up. Well, it doesn't matter. Just, just roll with me. So, uh, it is bugging me, though. Could I have just kept this? Because I'm trying to make this as simple as possible, all right? All right, dude, I'm just going to try. And if, and if I don't have to instruct someone to, okay, it can be done. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it has to be. Okay. Okay. The reason is, uh, it. yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It, it, it needs to be able to flex slightly like this, and it can't be done in the other way. It goes the opposite direction. So there was a reason for that. So, all right, we swap the arms, right? Left goes to right, right goes to left. And on the bottom, you're just going to plug in one of the feet after you uh, uh, collapse the thigh inside the calf. And you want to make it so that the tread is outside, okay? And then you're going to have the gun plugged into the underside of the, the forearm. And so you're just going to do that for both sides. We're, and we're done, pretty much. Like, right? And everything else afterward is just kind of fiddling with the fit and finish. Take that peg, plug it into that hole, right? And then from here, like this is crazy because see this thing, right? This little thing operates off of a hinge. And this here, we have like a bend. And now this allows you to level this. You see that? Very, very important. And see, it's not level right now. So you can mess around with that until everything is touching the ground. Then it feels nice and believable, baby. Dude, that's it. Incredible, right? really fast custom, really nice custom, um, very relatable to everyone, um, like approachable from the, from the perspective of, um, people having these parts. Um, then you plug in the rest of that and it's a little bit extra, but at the same time, it's cool. It's cool. Not right. Oh man. It's been recording really dark for the longest time, I think. Oh, well, oh, well now, nah, but he's nice, huh? Really, really, really happy with how this came out. Yeah. And so if you have the if you have these parts, you too can build them at home, dude. It's really, really fun and enjoyable. So if you need to pick me up, um, I highly encourage you to try. Yeah, even if it's just for a little bit, practice smiling, you know? It's almost like a muscle you know, you know what I mean? It's like sometimes you gotta get used to being happy too. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you've been sad for a long time. Anyway. That's hella real. Same thing with practicing charity, you know that? Um, really quick, I know it's the end of the video, but I'll just, I'll just, if you're here, you're here, right? Um, one of the things I realized is like, you know, if you're not used to practicing charity, it's going to be difficult to be charitable. You know that? It's almost like a muscle. You got to get used to flexing it and you got to get used to using it. Otherwise, when you suddenly try to do something out of the blue without having had any practice, you could potentially get hurt. It could be sore. You know what I mean? Like you might be left with resentment and stuff too. So yeah, if you want to be charitable, practice being being charitable. You know what I mean? If you want to be kind, practice being kind. If you want to be forgiving, practice being forgiving. Whatever whatever you practice, whatever you sow, whatever seed you plant, that's what's going to manifest. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to say that to be some holier than thou person. It's more of like I say these from the perspective of regret of like I wish I had known these things earlier. And that's why I'm trying to put them into practice in my life right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely not holier than thou. Definitely not holier than you. Not, you, you, I won't even, I won't even say, I won't even say anything. I won't even say anything. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> talk to you next time. Bye.